John Tesh coming up on Intelligence for Your Life. I'll share expert advice on how to avoid a trip to the emergency room with your child. We'll talk about the perils of the grocery cart and how we all need to treat our medicine cabinet like a danger zone, especially when it comes to our razors, which most kids see as toys. We'll find out if your toothbrush can make you sick, and I'll have the latest on how salmon, mackerel, herring, and tuna can help you live five to ten years longer. There, don't you feel smarter? <laughs> I do. John Tesh is bringing his longtime radio show, Intelligence for Your Life, to TV, including right here on Fox 11, and he's here to tell us all about it. Good morning. Good morning. We were just talking about the, the difference in, in, in height. height. Yeah. I was told but, to sit up like a big girl. But you see, you're a normal sized person. I'm like a <laughs> giant human being. How tall are you? I'm, I'm two meters. I'm, okay. I'm six foot six. Yeah, and, and I was, we were just saying that, you know, Mary Hart, when I used to work with her in entertainment, Tonight, she's 5'4. So she was on like about six or seven pillows, and yeah. she's barely <laughs> balancing. Just so it's a good core just workout so it didn't when you're look doing like that. The, like the monsters or something. Okay, yeah, I'm not really slouching. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to sit up nice and tall. Um, okay, so let's. For you mentioned entertainment tonight, mm -hmm. 86 to 96. That yeah, show was on. Yeah. I mean, I grew up watching that. From your watching from your crib. No, with your thank you very much. Head? No, I was a grown up girl when that was uh -huh. on. <laughs> still short, but a grown up girl. And then um, now this radio show has really taken off and you're, you're moving it to TV. Well, we, we started the show uh, about 10 years ago uh, at the hands of my wife, Connie Selica, who is, uh, uh, you saw her right at the end of that piece, mm -hmm. an actress and mom. We've been married for 21 years. And uh, I was trying to figure out, I wanted to do a radio show. And she looked at my side of the bed and there were all these wires and you know, one night, all these wires and iPods and pieces of stuff. And she was like, you know, this is our sleep chamber. What are you doing? You've got ADD. <laughs> so I had to cross complain. And I looked at her side of the bed, which was, you know, stacks of magazines with sticky notes on Same them. Same thing. Yeah. But Different she said, technology. But she said, yeah, exactly. But she said, you know, these are the articles that I'm going to get to eventually. You know, I thought, wow, that's a show. Let's hire a staff to curate all that great information. And that's where Intelligence for Your Life came from. And then about a year and a half ago, we just said, why don't we find a way to bring this to TV? All right, so yeah. cool. And I it was have a to longer tell you, meeting than that. But it was <laughs> <laughs> I was watching that, that part where it said, find out if your toothbrush is bad for you. Right, yeah. And I thought, I, I don't want to know that. I, I, I kind of yeah. don't want to know, and I'm not going to watch. But what I liked is that it's actually more positive stuff uh -huh. and not like scary, scary, in-your-face information. It's really stuff to kind of make you just a little smarter about your life. Right, and we find a lot of kids watch this stuff too, oddly enough, because they, they'll, they'll use these little tidbits to, you know, chat up a young lady or something, or uh, <laughs> a 15 year old, or, 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 or bring some tidbits to their teacher, mm -hmm. or it's a conversation starter. My wife calls it you know, cocktail knowledge. So it's your new and improved life in two minutes or less, basically, each little segment. Yeah, and I noticed you're, you're kind of tackling social media stuff too. There was a segment on right. there about making a better profile picture. Mm -hmm. So, and that helps people of all ages. Yeah, it does. It's, it's uh, I, I always call it, you know, uh, if it doesn't move you forward in your life, if it doesn't cause you to make a difference in someone else's life, we won't put it on the on the radio show or the TV show. What are some of the other things that people are going to learn when they watch the show? Well, you know, th it's, it's bizarre the things that people will pick up. We uh, people are fascinated with uh, relationship intelligence. There's a there's a thing that uh, Connie does on the show how to how to tell if the if the woman you love is mad at you, and people really you know re relate to that. My son Gib does the uh, he's the other anchor, and he does all the millennial intelligence, like mm -hmm. like your you yeah. know, like your your Facebook profile I like that. picture. And then there's a lot of German intelligence. People love that stuff. Like, what's the germiest thing in Russia? See, that's the stuff. I know. You're going to put your head in the sand on that. Out, yeah. well, you, we'll, we'll just we'll uh, put a little. I, I'm, like, I'm in denial you can just go about like germs. This. Yeah. But you want, you, I mean, you need to know a little bit of that. What's the germiest thing in a hotel room? The bedspread? No, not the bed. That's like number three, and the lamp uh, is like, you know, number five. It, yes, the TV remote. It's the TV oh. Remote. Yeah. The t so these, these guys that we work with, Dr. Charles Gerba, who's known as Dr. Germ, he just walks around with this swab and swabs. He's your worst nightmare. Yeah, I don't. Oh. Yeah, so the germiest yeah. thing in a restaurant is a menu. Cause that never, I believe. Because it never yeah. gets clean. It doesn't yeah, get clean. Yeah. Yeah. So I eat I'm like this. You or do know, you like, bring wipes with you now? Oh, that man, I'm the, yeah. Are you? Yeah. I, in fact, my name is Wipes Tesh. I mean, that's, <laughs> the, that's my, my, no, not really, but, but yeah. It is now. It is now. <laughs> At least Thank in you. Northeast Thank Wisconsin. You, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Green Bay. Um, uh, I liked it when you, you mentioned Connie talking about the relationships, too. And it's easy stuff to remember. If your wife says she's fine, She's not. She's, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. she's not. So it's easy, easy things to remember throughout the day, too. The funniest thing about this show is that it's a family. We shoot it in our radio show, the studio, okay. which is in our house. So it's my son, Gib, yeah. who's 31. We have a grandchild that he gave us who's 17 months old. Connie's on the show. I'm on the show. And so we're like the Partridge family, where you know, Gib runs the prompter, I run the camera, Connie does makeup, and then we switch roles, except Gib <laughs> and I on, never get really? to make it. We do, I swear. And, and the, the, that part of the show 
it's keeping up with the Teshas would be horrible. You wouldn't want to. No, see that, there's your next reality we, show right well, because there. Because Connie's a fiery Italian. I've, I've got ADD. Gib also Gib has ADD HD, <laughs> and and we're just we're a mess. But somehow it gets it gets on the air. We're real excited about it because it, it's an opportunity for us to work together. And this happens right at home. It does. Oh, yeah, very yeah, cool. It does. Yeah, this is your home because you spend yeah, five hours a day. I spend more time here, yeah, <laughs> than do, I do I at home. You do. Definitely. Um, so besides the the radio and the TV and entertainment tonight and your newscasts in your other previous life, you're still a touring musician. We do about 25 shows a year, and it's usually Christmas shows, and we love you know playing in this area. It's just tremendous because it's always a white Christmas. Yeah, I know and you've been here before. Yeah, yeah, we have. And last time I was here, you know, somebody said, "Hey, John, you should really uh, uh, stick your tongue on the light pole, you know, because it's really a cool trick." And I was there for a couple of hours, and they, <laughs> got, they, they got me. Come yeah. on, everybody here knows. We also like being at Sold Out Lambo Field. <laughs> yes, I mean, we, we just do. walk around doing that. But the show's going to be, you know, r right here, and uh, and we're really, really excited about launching it here. Yeah, we're we're excited about it. No start date yet, uh, so stay tuned for that. Intelligence for Your Life will be airing, though, right here on Fox 11 on Sundays. John, thanks for stopping by. We're looking forward my, to it. My pleasure, and I'd just like to rap a little bit, if you, if you don't mind. This, this is a rap I did for my, my teenage daughter, and you can just go to commercial, whatever you want to do. Yo, my name is John, and I've got a teenager, and she's at that age when boys want to date her, and